Welcome to my tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to change a bit from the webbing tutorials because some people are probably getting tired of them but they will be coming back. So I thought what I'd do today is show you how I edit my videos uh, and in particular my screencast. Now um, before anyone asks I use a program called ScreenFlow and I also use that for my Windows videos. It's not available on Windows, but basically the Windows videos are screencasts of a Windows virtual machine. So I've just got a sample here, and if we play it, So, right there, there's an opportunity where you'd want to zoom in on the uh, finder window. So, to do that, we're just going to click, uh, we're just going to pause it where we want to uh, add the thing, and then we're going to make sure on, on the video properties tab, and then we're going to go add video action. And then we're going to move it so it shows, oh, wants it to show, so we want it to zoom in the finder window. So we're going to play with this scale until it's all right. We're going to move it a bit. So what we get is So that's the result that we get right. Now, uh, you probably want to zoom me in right at the start. So we're going to click on the built-in eyesight and we're not going to set a point. We're just going to click add a video app. We're not even going to add a video action. We're going to change the scale and I normally have mine at a hundred and 48 so that's the result that you get and I I usually line it up using these helpful guides here and then what you can do is at the same time change the um, opacity of the screen screen recording so what you have is going to cover flow and then when you want to um show someone to me you just simply add a video action move the to where you want and then brighten the screen back up again by clicking add a video action and then changing the opacity so that just gives you a basic idea about editing uh, what we have now is So it dims in and out when going to cover flow. And it zooms in. So that's an idea some of the basics on editing. It depends on your screen recording. Now I'm going to get into the exportation. What I normally do is go up to the file and export. I go, go to the web 
high preset, not the best, but the web high. And I click customize. I don't change any of the video options, but down here in the sound, I go to the settings and change it from channel stereo to mono because that results in a smaller file size and realistically when you're on the internet you want things to be uh, doing the mono it makes for faster access times and things like that and then I just click OK um, make a name for the screen recording so I'll call it demo And then, as you can see down there, it's exporting it, and it was going very quickly because it's a very short screen recording. But so, I hope that gives you an idea of how I edit my videos. I, I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial, and I, I hope you liked it. Thanks, thank you for watching.